What up guys, it's me Speedster Games here and today I am back for another video and today we are trapped in the sewers. Yay, that's fun. What? Okay, that caught me off guard. Um, I am a little confused at the moment right now. Hold on. <gasps> oh, I'm a dummy. I am a dummy. I am stupid. There was a, there were stairs right there. And I was too dumb enough. Whoa, a little musically right there. I was too retarded enough to see it. Excuse me, developers. I think your wall is glitching. Excuse me, developers. I think your game is glitching. I'm sorry to say that. There is more to the sewers? Oh, heck's nah. Uh, fine. I guess we'll go down here. Literally. <laughs> I'm stupid. Uh, let's grab this herb. Wait, what? Where am I at? <gasps> I'm at caution. But don't worry. We got some better stuff now. That's William Birkin, isn't it? I bet you money that's William Birkin. William? Oh, that's not William. <laughs> that's a G-boob. We got G-boobs. We got G-boobs. We got G-boobs. We got to pop its nut. We gotta pop its nut. We gotta pop that nut. That sounds so good. We gotta pop that nut. We gotta pop that nut. Pop its baby nuts. We gotta pop that nut! We gotta pop that nut! Don't poison me! We gotta pop that nut! Oh, man, he's pissed. He is pissed. Ah! Eat a grenade. Wait, did I throw a grenade? What did I throw in there? I gotta pop that nut. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> I got an I, this name this episode should be called Poppin' Some Nuts. <laughs> Poppin' Some Nut. Oh my god. That sounds so funny to me. But what? Oh, I had a grenade. That's what I threw in his mouth. Cause I'm like, what did I throw in his mouth? I shouldn't have anything. There's a red herb down there. Ah oh, my nose. Where'd she go? Who knows, Leon? Oh yeah, this is where Ada gets knocked off. And Annette's and then then and then Annette what's her name? Annette. Annette comes in like, hey, I'm gonna knock you off. Mmm. <clears throat> Knocks uh Ada Wong, or should I say Wong Ada, off the ledge. 
I'm a cool guy. I land perfectly good main character stance. And I look into the distance of the brightness of the shadows and the flakes of dead people. <clears throat> I'm such a good guy. I don't like the sound of that. I'm such a good guy. I'm coming, Ada. Wait, what? Okay. Uh. Let's grab this. Ah, I need to grab it. Hold on. Uh, save it. Save it now. Save it. Find a net. Why do we gotta find a net? We're not finding a net. A net's garbage. <gasps> you so you're not you're telling me you don't like females? What? That's not how I put it by Honestly, I kind of feel bad for Leon. Okay, look, I created up this story that how video game characters work, alright? So every time they make a part 2 or part 3, you know game characters can't jump through uh, other uh, cartridges, you know that, right? They stay in their same box, their same thing. They, well, they will always remain in that box. But you know what's sad? If you gotta really think about it here, about video game characters. Wait, can I combine this? Crap, I can't. But, I created up this crazy theory that once you get rid of a game, that video cam- that, that video- that video game character will be forgotten forever. That's crazy to actually think about. If you actually think about video ga video characters being real, and if you get rid of the game and just put it inside of a box, then you gotta think about it here. That video game character and all those people that the, the, the developer created, those guys will be gone forever. Just forgotten. And then like how you pause the game. Like let's say if I pause the game right here, right? That video game character will be alive, but he'll be just be standing there waiting for the main character to come back and play him. You know how great of a movie that'll be? Bro, I think I might create a movie about that. About one video game character that's like stuck in his game but like the developers like don't come and play his game at all like that'll be a perfect movie i know that sounds like wreck it ralph a lot like that really low-key sounds like wreck it ralph what the hell? but it's like but that'll be kind of interesting to see oh hi I was too busy talking to my fans that I didn't worry about you, piece of trash. Give me my knife back. Sit down, old man. Sit down, old man. It's time for you to rest. We need, we need a wheel. I should probably go put my stuff back, the things that I don't need, so I'll probably be right back. Alright, I put some stuff away and I found myself a good herb. So I'm probably going to put that. I'm not going to mix it because I'm scared that one of those G-boobs will come out of the water and grab me and be like, what's up? And then he'll poison me because I know those, I know for a fact the G-babies poison you. I don't know why, but I call them G-babies because they're G-boobs. They're also G-boobs. Okay. We gotta pop his nut. We gotta pop that nut. We gotta pop that nut. We gotta pop his nut. I swear the G baby sound like like sad voice cracks. Like <laughs> his nut go 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 haha -ha, sucker I 
I want to pop his nut. That's great. <gasps> oh. Um. Yeah, we're stuck up here because we need like a little ranch. So we're kind of stuck up here. No, Brick, get, get up back up here. Get, get back up. There you go, buddy. Get back up here. We're not done yet. Dang, he aimbot at me. He aimbot at me. Bro, I actually got, I, bro, I got, I got aimbotted by one of those G-boobs. What's this? Oh. I got actually aimbotted by one of the, the G-boobs. Alright, let's go down here because, like, where's the wheel of fortune? Where's the Wheel of Fortune? I'm dumb. I'm dumb. The Wheel of Fortune is back here. Well, at least I tried to kill one of the G-boobs. So it's like, I guess that's a compa. Ugh, the, the tool. Yes, I know. We got the tool. Congratulations. Wait, that, no, that's uh, G-Baby's home. This is just G-Baby lair. Okay. Oh, I knew it. I knew your little freaks would come out. I gotta pop his nut. Yeah, that, that, that move is just aimbot. My brother came in. Not now, not now, please. I'm trying to fight G babies. I'm poisoned. No. Come here. Oh, I'm gonna have to use it. That sucks. You're almost dead, I know it. Dummy. I had to help my brother with something, guys. So sorry, I just cut off like that. But we're about to go into the G Baby territory, the territory of the Taz Taz Taz. So let's go. Whoa, I I aliens! The hell was that? <laughs> it's called aliens, buddy. Where's Ripley when you need her? Oh crap! Oh god! Oh, that scared me! Oh god! Ah! Oh! 
It sounds like they're moaning. I don't know why, but it does. I dodged him. See ya, buddy. <laughs> I am a lucky, persistent guy. I kind of want Pepsi a little bit. You know what? Guys, I think, I, I think I'm going to go grab a Pepsi real quick. I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab myself a Pepsi. Be back. I'm back. Listen, listen, listen. Stop what you're doing and listen. Shut up, everyone. Listen, listen. Listen. You like that sound, don't you? Ugh. All right, let's finish this game. All right, let's go. Oh, that, wait. Ooh, I kind of like that gun. I want it. Oh, we, we got to take that. Wait. <gasps> I used a pouch. But wait, we get another herb, right? Yeah, we get another herb. So it's like, okay, it's not a big deal. Oh. Kill him now. Why well, you still have the chance? <gasps> no! It's like when you get bitten by a zombie, you know that feeling. Got, ugh! They should make a game mode in Resident Evil where you're just nothing but in danger. You always will be in danger. That would be the most toughest game mode I have ever had to play. A chemical flamethrower, that's the weapon. Okay. I hate, I hate it when I'm in danger. I can't fit the queen in here, so we're go I'm gonna have to get rid of my knife and just get that. Queen, right? Or queen, queen. But wait, but we gotta get that flamethrower. We cannot leave this area without the flamethrower. So we gotta get the queen back in here. Die! Ugh. Yeah. I have a flamethrower! <laughs> that took up like most of my space. Lust. Mm. My lust for you. My grenade! My only grenade! Oh, this is gonna hurt me. My, I'm gonna die, and I'm gonna die even more. Wrong plug, it's this plug right here. My lust for you, my queen. It's bare and unbearable. Oh. Wait. Oh, that's right. 
Cause I was confused, like, wait, what? And then I had to realize that I did the puzzle right. I would have never got bitten by that stupid zombie. This. Ugh. Goward! Hold on, before we go in there and die. I hate their sounds, it's so creepy! Wait! Get back up here! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! We did it! I'm so proud of myself! Let's go! Now we gotta make it in one piece. I swear, if I die by a stupid zombie, mm, today's not gonna be a good day. You're dead? I am making sure everything is dead. Okay, you're dead. I am making sure everything is dead. I am dead serious. You get the pun? You get the pun? I am making sure everything is dead. I am dead serious. <laughs> I'm so funny. Alright, let's continue. We have one ink ribbon left, so let's might as well use it now. Oh, oh, oh. oh that was stressful. Alright. Puzzle? Why don't we need one? I am pretty, pretty, sh pretty sure the rook and the knight are on the same wall, and the bishop and queen are not next to each other, and the queen rook are on the opposite. Alright, call it a day, guys. I'm at danger. I am crippled. Goodbye. <laughs> 